We're back on this 2010 Prius, so this is video two. And I told you about the big oil stain down on the condenser. I told you this was in a body shop, just out of a body shop. This is a new light, and I described the work that I've seen done over there. And looking at the sight glass, let's see if we can zoom in right there. There we go. You can see all, I mean, basically there's very little liquid in there. Zoom in, zoom out, but that's not the only thing that gives it away. We're in a negative vacuum here. So our low side is in a vacuum of six or seven PSI. 63 PSI on a 50 degree day. I would expect to see it about 66 to uh, say 90 PSI at the most. If I want to go, P if I want to be one of those PSI guys. But if I put, if I, while well, I don't have my uh, temperature clamp hooked up, but if I took my superheat, we would see our superheats probably around 50 or 60 degrees of superheat. And by grabbing this, it's nice and cold. We would probably see our subcooling somewhere close to zero on our subcooling. Uh, sorry, I don't have those hooked up to show you right now. But let me go inject some dye. And let me see if I, if I have that right here. Oh, I have it. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna have to go grab it. It's locked up other side of the car. So we're gonna come back in video three and I'm gonna inject some dye into the system while it is running. And let's see how long it takes for the dye to travel from this point at the suction line down into the compressor, through the compressor, gets pumped out, travels up to the top of the condenser. It has to go through all those passes inside the condenser and it ejects into the receiver dryer up the side. It has to get separated into a liquid, come out the smaller port. There's around five or six tubes that it has to come out before it hits the liquid line, exiting the condenser, before it could come back to this line to where we can see it at the sight glass. On a low system like this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna predict that it takes about 15 seconds. I don't think it'll take 20 seconds. If it was a completely filled charge system on a hot day and the compressor was winding out, it'd be less than 10 seconds. It would travel from there to there, seven to 10 seconds. But we're at, we're at a lower temperature, compressor's not winding as much, and we're low on the volume mass of gas. So that makes it take a longer time for the oil to circulate. All right, be back in the number three video coming up. 